<coughs> well, what you're looking at, well, first of all, let's look at uh, down here. <coughs> all right. What artery is this? This is the it's common carotid. carotid artery, left. Left common carotid artery. Mm -hmm. It branches, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. It's got common in the name, it branches. It has two branches, external and internal carotid artery. How do you know one from the other? External has branches in the neck. You see those? Mm -hmm. All right. It's going to the face and neck and head. Or, yeah. This other one is the internal carotid artery. You notice that it has no branches in the neck, and it's also situated slightly posterior to the external carotid. This artery in here, running up through the transverse foramina of the cervical vertebrae, is the left vertebral artery. All right, now up in here, <clears throat> <clears throat> up in here you've got here are your two internal carotid arteries coming through the carotid canals the carotid canals lie right in there so they emerge here on either side of the body of the sphenoid bone and they continue as middle cerebral arteries so this is internal carotid artery same artery continues as the middle cerebral artery and the same thing over here. Here come the two vertebral arteries up through the foramen magnum. Mm -hmm. They join to form the basal artery. You can see that the basal artery is giving off a number of branches, but it finally divides up here into the posterior cerebral arteries. Mm -hmm. This is the right posterior cerebral artery. This is the left. Now, what you're looking at right here is the cerebral arterial circle or circle of Willis mm -hmm. whereby the internal carotid system connects to the vertebral system. So if we start right here, <coughs> you've got right internal carotid, right middle cerebral. But a branch off of that is the anterior cerebral artery, which is this one. This, this is the left anterior cerebral artery off of the left middle cerebral. They connect across the midline by, the in, with, by means of the anterior communicating artery. All right, going now <coughs> from middle cerebral posterior, <coughs> excuse me, we've got the posterior communicating artery on the left, connecting to left posterior cerebral artery. Same thing is happening over here. Here is right posterior cerebral, and this should be the right posterior communicating right here. So what you've got here is a continuous loop of arteries whereby the flow of blood can be adjusted based on pressures. If there is, for example, a blockage in internal carotid or vertebral supply. Okay, great. Perfect. Yeah.